Before we get into the video, I want to go ahead and insert tweets that kind of just, you know, resonate with me. Tweets that kind of have been my mood since I graduated uni. I'm going to go ahead and insert that right here. Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Brookette. If you're already familiar with my face, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a bit different. It's a sit down video. You know when it's a sit down video, I'm going to get into the tea. From the title, you already know what this video is about. Basically, my life after uni. I also wanted to put a little twist to it and talk about what 2022 has taught me so far. We're in April but i've learned a lot from this year i don't want this video to be all over the place so i'm gonna start from when i first graduated from when i finished my last course all the way to my life right now so let's get into the tea i actually jotted down notes because the way i don't know how people be doing sit down videos is not really my emo but i want to make it my thing because i talk a lot i have like opinions on things so we're gonna make it a thing okay let's start off i actually graduated november last year so november 2021 but i actually finished school in july or august because i took summer classes because i had to retake a course to get my gpa to where i wanted it to be i actually graduated with a cum laude in international management that's amazing i was really proud of myself and it's something i was working towards so the fact that i was able to achieve it was pretty amazing to me and then after then i've kind of honestly just been chilling at least the summer right after i finished school i've kind of been chilling or the summer where i finished school i got myself a part-time job and to kind of just keep me busy keep me occupied while looking for my actual main job because at the end of the day if you're in canada the main goal is to get like pr so you want a job related to your major aside pr you want a job related to the major that you literally spend thousands of dollars in uni for so i've been looking for a job like that in the meantime i was just working like my part-time job just a retail part-time job i got that job in august i think my start day was actually august 2nd 2021 so last year funny enough it's almost been a year that i've been working there now and it doesn't even feel like it time is like is a crazy concept time is crazy i was honestly contemplating on what to do with my life like what do i want to do next you know when you come out of school there's kind of pressure on you not just from your parents not just from people around you but you yourself you kind of put pressure on yourself as to what do you want to do next where do you see yourself next where do you see yourself in the future what's your kickoff like what's your start off into the real world now so i decided to start my youtube channel which i actually started i think five months ago it's actually not been a while which has been amazing so far just that i've been dealing with personal things in my life that have not just allowed me to put out as much content as i wanted to the last video i dropped before this one i took a month to edit that video and i hadn't dropped a video before that in a month so it's just a crazy crazy concept but it is what it is before this my struggles now because this struggle is actually kind of recent maybe not really but maybe it's just more amplified now honestly pressure on what to do i was pressured i would say i, I felt pressured no nope, i was pressured i felt pressured because feeling something and actually and it's actually happening can be two different things but the fact that you feel it does make does mean that it happens so something else i also did i did a certificate in medical terminology that was in the summer as well because i heard that like you can get a job in the healthcare industry if you do like a certificate in medical terminology i think that took me about three to four months to complete I did that although i wasn't still able to get a job in the healthcare industry i didn't study anything in the healthcare industry but there are jobs that can that i could work like a clerk like a coordinator like in hr like i could work certain jobs as long as i held that certificate so that was the next thing I, I tackled. 
I think the next thing I tackled after that was my G2. I did my G2 in, I think earlier this year, I completed my G2. I had my G1, it had been a year, so I was able to do my G2. I was actually doing driving school and like a driver's education course for when I get my car so my insurance can be cheaper because apparently that's a thing. But aside that, like I feel like in the grand scheme of things, I just had days where I felt very numb, very empty inside. I wouldn't say depressed, but just void void is the word i had days where i felt like i was waking up without a purpose i had days where i felt like i wake up and my life is continuing in cycles i see myself doing the same thing i see myself going over the same routine and which is pretty crazy for me because i'm the kind of person that craves stability stability for me is where i want to be doing things i want to do and i didn't really see myself doing that in as much as i started a youtube channel i started to question the youtube channel as well i was like did i just start it because i didn't have anything to do or did i just start it because i i i felt like i had to do something like, i started asking myself questions you know i started doubting myself once doubt sets in it's almost like you're just going downhill from there but i just told myself like at the end of the day you can feel that way but it's up to you to pick yourself up and keep it pushing because at the end of the day if you're feeling down and you're not doing anything about it you're just going to remain down and i find that this is very common in a lot of creatives like a lot of people that are into you know directors maybe video videography like youtubers influencers people that are into all this kind of thing it's very very common once you don't have a stable nine to five if you're not into just a stable nine to five or like working it's very common to find yourself in situations where you're feeling down doubting the things you do imposter syndrome you know a lot of things like that that was kind of my headspace or that has kind of been my headspace but just good news that i was able to get myself a job like i got a job with I don't know if I want to disclose yet till I finalize the whole process, but uh, I got myself a job that's related to my major. I'm currently in the background check process. Oh, sorry. <laughs> currently in the background check process. I signed my offer letter the other day. But ask me why I got that job and I still found myself questioning, is this even the job I want to do? Is this even like, my? I feel like my mate, people around me are in better positions than I might find myself now even with the job but honestly we always forget I always forget that you start from somewhere to get somewhere so at the end of the day wherever you find yourself now is still amazing you could have even been in a worse position than where you are right now when I got the job I just told myself and I told God thank you I'm forever grateful to you because at the end of the day I could not be here I could still be in the position where I have been looking for a job because it's actually been almost a year since I finished even before I finished I was looking for jobs nothing really came through for me and then this job that I even got when I was applying for it I had a gut feeling that I was gonna get it like I just applied and I was like I don't know what it is but this job is mine it's mine it belongs to me <laughs> and it went amazing the interview process was amazing the first the second interview amazing you know when you pray that like, you find favor in the eyes of men is a thing in the past one month i've been in a situation where i've not been able to open tiktok my instagram i barely go there i've just been using twitter social media for me it was kind of irritating me it wasn't something i really wanted to do anymore because i was talking to my friends and they were like Rika, is this coming from you and i'm like it's coming from me you now maybe this i know it's crazy although that's not really how i feel right now i was just grateful to god that the moments where i felt like that i was also in the whole interview process so i wasn't just idle i felt that way and i felt like i was also moving forward with my job search it was kind of great at the end of the day god always has a plan god always has a direction he's he's taking you on imagine if i was feeling that way and i wasn't even still moving forward in my job search in my job process that would have been very much sad what i think i've learned about just everything i've felt what i've been through in the last eight months because i think i graduated and i finished school eight months ago what i've learned is that you just have to put out your content it doesn't sound easy neither am i even really doing it to be honest but you have to put it out it's just crazy because sometimes i put out content and i'm like i just feel like it's so mediocre like is it really even like i don't know i just put out content and i just find myself doubting myself which is very very bad but 
it is what it is like i'm only human i'm not perfect but i would say i'm proud of everything i've put out so far so good it's only up from here i know that everybody has their own journey i know that everybody has their own path to follow at the end of the day you will not help but compare yourself not just even to other people but compare yourself to where you might see yourself or where you thought you were supposed to be i was steady comparing myself to where i thought i wanted to be or to where i felt like i should be so that was just kind of weighing me down draining me i'm just like what else can i do and you can only push yourself to a certain extent you push yourself to where you might even feel so 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 weak so tired i'm feeling better i'm feeling brighter aside that i've had a lot of friendship ending the older you become the more you cut people off the more you find yourself just wanting to be alone just wanting to be more to yourself i'm not sitting here to say i'm perfect or anything it is what it is you just end up in a situation where you lose friends they come they go that's kind of another thing i have been dealing with it's not like a cute thing for me because i don't like cutting people off i don't like it when a relationship comes to an end because to me a relationship is a relationship it should last it should be easy but i've honestly just been chilling so i tweet you're chilling but you're losing your mind that has been my mood i've touched on everything i've basically been up to in the past eight months eight months is not that long of a time but i just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on my life after uni what have i been up to what have i been doing majorly job search majorly working my part-time job majorly doing youtube instagram tiktok and stuff like that got my g2 did a medical terminology certificate i was also doing like a google analytics certificate right i forgot about that but i haven't completed it yet because i got the job i just got and i didn't really need it to get it i would continue it because i still want to put myself out there get more qualifications and stuff if you know how many times i've touched my linkedin page it's crazy it's crazy i was going to touch on what i've learned in 2022 so far just briefly before the video ends I'm just gonna state them comparison is a thief of joy do not compare yourself everybody is on their own journey i'm speaking to myself as i'm saying this i'm speaking to myself because sometimes when you say things out loud that was why i was very excited about making this video so that when i watch it when i'm editing it i hear it over and over again and make sure it's sticking to me two humans are only out for themselves people are selfish so make sure to look out for you i always tend to put people before myself but mm -mm, there is an end to that final full stop period i know 2022 has so much in store for me i'm ready to take on the year from here on out i'm ready to put my foot down and make better choices better decisions amazing amazing things are yet to come and i am very much open and ready to receive it speak positive guys it goes a long way we're taking it one day at a time i'm wishing everybody good good vibes positive thoughts i'm wishing you amazing 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 things to come your way so stay safe and stay blessed stay happy i hope you enjoyed it i hope you heard a thing or two that relates to you yeah so i will see you all in my next video make sure to like make sure to share make sure, sure to comment make sure to like the video comment subscribe all that good stuff turn on your post notification because i will be posting more that's my plan that's my goal for the whole of 2022 to become more and more and more consistent bye